Welcome along, ladies and gentlemen, to this Pitch the Podium special. This is myself, Samuel Rora here. And this episode is a rather special one because we recently caught up with Mr. Mark Sutton, who happens to be one of the most iconic photographers in the history of Formula One. He's been shooting for more than three decades now and he's covered all the greats of the sport, be it Senna, Prost, PK, Mansell, Schumacher as well, now Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton, you name it, and he has covered their careers through his camera lenses. And my goodness, he's had some amazing experiences and some phenomenal shots as well. So recently we caught up with him and he shared some of the best stories behind some of his best photographs. So you name it, you've got the likes of his iconic belly flop shot of Daniel Ricciardo at the 2018 Monaco Grand Prix and a few amazing shots of Max Verstappen as well. So stay tuned, folks. Have a keen eye on this one because these stories are bound to leave you fascinated. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, no problem. So this one's the next one. Yeah. This was 2008. Oh, yes. This is the belly flop moment. Yeah, so yeah. this is... Wow. And the amazing thing was, I didn't know, but um, actually in the press conference, someone sent me the video that Lewis said to Daniel, why don't you do a belly flop? And Daniel didn't know what a belly flop was, but I think he worked it out that you just go flat yeah. in the pool. And I didn't know this because I was waiting at the pool for Daniel to arrive. And I got there really early, got a great position next to the Getty guy because Getty worked for Red Bull. So Mark Thompson's been a big long friend of mine. So I was next to him and he said, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get Daniel to come over. And so he did the belly flop. So that's, so here's the moment beforehand. So that's where he's in the air. Yeah. He looks, wow. like, he's got, he looks <laughs> like he's doing a swallow dive, but he's literally just going flop in the pool. And then obviously the belly flop, I, I then went to see him in Germany that's Monaco. So a long time later, I got the print prints done and I thought I'll do a charity thing, but I want one signed to me. So I got five signed by Daniel. I said, would you mind signing one to me? And he said, yeah. He said, give me a second. So I didn't look at it. <laughs> and then he signed it belly flop. So I call it the belly flop. So, yeah. so that was a great thing. That's been signed and sent off to charities. Uh, I've done um, Great Ormond Street, uh, Dem uh, Race for Dementia, which is Jackie Stewart's charity. I've done leukemia. I've done all five charities that I like to do. And then last year, I was there in Germany at the first corner for qualifying. And then Max was doing these incredible sparks, as you know. So then I decided that that, that would be... That would be the next one, really. It was going to be this spark <laughs> shot. Which oh, is that's twentieth of a second. Twentieth um, of a second. Wow! As he goes into his qualifying lap, so he's literally coming into the first turn, and there was this, there was this, um, there was a sort of um, it bottoms out on the corner, and I could see it on the previous laps of other cars, and then I thought the Red Bull is always the best one that sparks. Yep. So that was taken at twentieth of a second, and it's just incredible. I then. Wow. thought that's that's my picture that's my picture i then went and did a, a thing with um f1 experiences with sean bratchett from formula one and showed him the picture and he said oh that is just an incredible photo we need that we need that on formula one so i sent him the picture and we got to talk a bit more about pictures being put up really quickly and that was an amazing moment as well to talk with the, the big guy at liberty and and show him what i was shooting and just to showcase my, my images. And I thought that's going to be the signed photo. I then get to the race and I go to the, I'm not at the first corner, I'm not at the last corner. So I'm at turn two, turn stroke three. And it's the worst position of the whole race. Because <laughs> nothing <laughs> happened. Nothing happened. As you know, yeah. Hockenheim was, was, Hockenheim was probably the, the craziest race of the whole year. Yeah. I watched it all on TV. I watched it on the screens. Everyone was going off into the barrier. And it was mainly because, I don't know who you know, but there's a drag strip there where they go from, the, yeah. from that final corner, they go down the straight um, and they do That's these burnouts. Yeah. yeah, they do the burnouts at the end. So they've got all this rubber there and they don't re-put re um, tarmac over the top or spray it. So it's got the original sort of tarmac with, with the burnout rubber on the circuit. And the reason the cars went off, as soon as they hit it, normally they'd have the grip. But as soon as they hit it with that rain, aquaplane straight, aquaplane, into, the yeah. straight into the gravel trap. 
So I knew what was going on, but I couldn't get there. Some other people were there, photographers were there from above, side on, and yeah. Anyway, so I left it to them really. And then I just thought, what am I going to do? I've got nothing. I've got no pictures. <laughs> right, do the pit stops, get on the pit wall, try and do a flag picture. And then, so I, I basically did the flag as Max came across the line, just kept my finger on the button, a bit like with the um, Lewis shot, that other Max one, obviously, is only one frame. And then I just couldn't believe it that in the background, the fireworks went off. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this one is... You, you, You've got, you've got Max going across the line with the fireworks. It's cropped a little bit at the top on the print, actually. They didn't print it very well. Yeah. Um, they've cropped more of the firework off. So then I thought, I've now got two pictures. I looked on the back of the camera, sent it straight away. Because what we do now is we, we pick the pictures and we transmit them straight away. So when you think when I started, when it was film and you were processing in chemicals and how slow it was and now how quick it is because on 4g and we'll go to 5g very soon 4g you send the, it's linked to the camera on a little dongle i've got the dongle here somewhere where is it um so this is my device i'll show you this is my device i send all the pictures on and it's yeah. a, like a 4g modem that links to my camera so it's on all the time so my camera is connected all the time so as soon as i pick the picture uh, I select it, send it, select, send, select, send, select, send. And literally at the moment, you can pick a picture and send it in 10 seconds. So that picture went well, back, got used by all the people. I then thought, let's get it on Instagram straight away. So I loaded it on Instagram from, from the media center. And it hit six and a half thousand likes, which is pretty impressive for me. Last year, I then thought, well, I've got two pictures. I can't really choose between the two. <laughs> So I've got this one and I've got this one and yeah. I don't know which one to pick. All right, I'll, I'll pick both. Well, so I then got 11, uh, 12 signed. So I got 12 pictures. My goodness. Print. Went to see Max in, I think it was Hungary. I'd already contacted his, the, the Red Bull PR people and said, is it okay? And he said, yes, no problem. All the charities will appreciate it. Especially because I decided to give one for the Wings for Life, which is a Red yeah. Bull charity for people have been injured in sport or whatever. And I think it's a great cause as well. So I gave one set of prints. So I got basically 10 signed by Max, 10 signed by uh, Max of both of them. And then I got them back and I got the envelope and, and the girl from the PR said, oh, Max signed 11 because he couldn't keep the one yeah. that he signed. Because drivers don't want signed pictures of themselves. Right. If you think about it, <laughs> he could have given it away to somebody. But anyway, he said, I've, he's given you them all. Just send another print to the factory and he'll, he'll appreciate it to put it on his wall. Anyway, so I did that. Uh, so then these went to 10 charities. So it was even better, actually, to do 